Hello and a very warm welcome to all the viewers of 3.0 TV. This is Manoj Dara from ABC Conclave and with me is a very special guest and, and and he is someone who doesn't require any introduction. Let me introduce you to Mr. Ravikant Agarwal, Director of Growth of Polygon Labs. Ravi, welcome on 3.0 TV. Thank you for having me. So, so Ravi, can you just take us through very quickly about you know the 2.0 which Polygon has implemented. How far we have reached all the commitments which we had made and if you can just explain the initiative to us as well. Certainly. Yeah, I think, you know, the overall idea behind Polygon 2, 2.0 is how can we avoid those fragmented blockchain? How can we avoid those silos, which in the previous world we used to call as intranet, right? How can we reach to a point where now saying intranet, how can we enable that in the blockchain world? That is Polygon 2.0, where we are talking about unifying the liquidity, bringing in all those liquidity with the help of an interop layer that we are planning where any person who is on a chain one wanted to go to chain two they don't have to really do those kind of a bridging exercise bring in their liquidity wait for hours of time but they would be able to do that very very seamless manner that's the idea where we are bringing in many many initiative and specially focusing on something which we are proudly calling as cdk that's a chain development kit. Under the Polygon 2.0, we are trying to enable many, many L1s as well as L2s to leverage this toolkit in order to spin up their chain within no time. And then they would be able to become part of this interop layer where we are going to be bringing in the unification in the liquidity. Fantastic. Since you're talking about this big initiative and this way forward, uh, I was talking to a lot of developers you know, in this ABC conclave and they are pretty happy that uh, they are working on Polygon. And congratulations to the team that uh, you are the you are the one of the favorite layer twos, uh, you know, of this conclave. Uh, last time when we spoke, we were talking about Mercedes and you know Starbucks, big brands getting associated with Polygon. Uh, you are acting like a magnet away. So what what other brands you have attracted? Yeah, I think uh, this is one area where you know we are really proud in terms of the kind of tech that we have built, which has been loved by many, many Web2 brands and the large enterprises. I think there are new use cases that I would love to share about, for example, Lufthansa Airline. They have been coming up in terms of their loyalty program built on Polygon. Uh, Grab, in case if you have heard about one of the Southeast Asian giant, they have been using Polygon FireDrop, which is uh, an initiative by Flipkart, an e-commerce, the largest e-commerce in India at the moment, uh, you know, bought by Walmart. They have been doing something which is again very unique case where somebody can sell their coupons on a marketplace. I think th these are like some of the top examples, but then there are many more. And we are, you know, we are really excited in terms of Web3 components are getting baked in into the user journeys, which are like something very day to day across these larger institutions. Something is cooking really right. That's that's the recipe. You said that you know you are you are baking a baking something really exciting. Can you just tell tell us or walk us through what kind of activities you are doing for developers? Because you have gained the trust of the entire market. So developer loves you. But what kind of what kind of development initiatives you have taken? If you can just highlight that as well. Sure. I think you know developers has been our customer, right? So when everybody says that we have to improve customer experience. For us, since developers are exp developers are our customer, we have to improve developer experience, and that's where we have been doing series of activities. Whether it is a global tour where we got you know those many guilds who are operating into individual cities, Fantastic. we are going meeting with a lot of young brand, young minds there helping them understand about the Polygon vision, about the Polygon tech stack, enabling them with the latest information so that they all can feel comfortable in terms of building on Polygon. There is again series of hackathons, series of events that we are coordinating in order to ensure that all the required information are with the developer. We have recently also launched an AI based co-pilot. That's an AI assistant wow. that can help anybody to navigate within the Polygon documentation, help them understand the case studies, get them an answer to something what ChatGPT has enabled, right? So I think there are a lot of effort where we wanted to improve the developer experience and it's an ongoing initiative. Now that the Polygon ecosystem itself is growing beyond the Polygon POS, which is one of the most adopted chain, and now the Polygon ZK AVM, which is you know gaining traction, we also wanted to ensure that for all the subsequent product and the initiative, we are keeping our community, our developer, always updated with the information that we are building for. Developer is the key to success. That's what you know you have said. But Ravi, you are yourself, you are taking or leading this initiative of 
of of a new tech revolution which you call about the the mobile mobile strategy so mobile strategy you are working on it personally so can you just give some glimpse of you know what what kind of strategy you are working at and and as a web3 ecosystem player what are we going to gain you know in this in this strategy yeah sure i think uh, you know there is another work stream that we are building where we wanted to tap in mobile as a new frontier right how can we take web3 into mobile and that's where we believe again everybody talks about a billion users to be onboarded on web3 but that cannot be possible without capturing mobile as a new surface and that's where we have been working very diligently in terms of creating an initiative where bringing in those users where the users don't have to really change their behavior they can continue on their mobile as the first favorite surface to interact but then the web3 applications taking over there and this is under one of the dimensions which we call as a dapp store and what we are enabling is we are letting many many project to leverage the dapp store kit that has been created with the help of community in order for anybody to spin up their own dapp store and wow. this dapp store is like an alternate app store to the existing players that we have in uh, in the apple and android at the same time this brings in the community angle into it right awesome. so imagine that anybody who is able to spin up their app store with their favorite 50 apps within 10 minutes and that gives their their community all what they need so as an nft project they really don't have to just buy an nft and then wait for the floor price to go up and down but they rather can have within their app store the nft analytics tool they can have the games where this nft can become their avatar they can also have some of the loot boxes they can have the ruffle games and so on in in order to bring in the engagement right so that we can have better user engagement we can have this as a user onboarding at the same time user retention should eventually grow so those are like some of the things that can be enabled with the help of this app store initiative and more to come as we unfold more things in the mobile side although you are targeting developers but i wish and hope that this new strategy of roping in mobile users will definitely work for polygon and 3.0tv wishes you very all the best for your future projects thank you so much for talking to 3.0tv it was pleasure having you ravi thank you so much pleasure is mine